Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to my channel, Electrical Installation Chip E. Where today we're gonna connect this sub breaker panel right here. We have the main panel over there. We're gonna show you some few steps in that as well. Um, but yeah, we're gonna um, connect this sub breaker panel right here. And if I happen to hear um, background noise, it's because we are at a pig farm. We have a lot of animals, uh, chicken, pig, and everything like that. So that if you hear any noise in the background, that's actually that is uh, happening. So hope you guys can actually hear what I'm saying and because I don't want to voice over this video I rather just do it naturally. Um, but here yeah, we have this sub panel right here we're gonna show you how to connect it and there are a few steps in this that uh, I need to explain. I did a video about why you separate the neutral and the earth in a breaker panel. But there um I, I had to specify on one thing mainly which is when and where it shouldn't be used. So maybe I can use take this up the opportunity to use this video to actually explain that so yeah so as you can see guys these are some 35 millimeter wires these are my main wires and this is the neutral and this is the hurt this is an independent hurt So what we're gonna do now guys, we're gonna kind of the main earth. Guys, whenever time you tighten these screws, always go back over and give it something extra. Why? Because whenever time you tighten it, the wires tend to get flat. So you get it to get more grip on it, you tighten it a little bit more. So guys if you notice we have all of our ground wire on one side totally separated from the, the neutral side you can see there is no link right there so guys why we done that is because we want the main to control everything 
because we want the main, main to control everything. So whenever time there's a fault occur on the, the, the ground side or anything like that, we only want one direction back to the transformer and back to the main vehicle. Uh, we don't want it to be um, traveling back both ways. So when we do it in the sub panel, we separate it because we don't want if anything occur in this panel right here. Um, especially if the the main that come out, the, the breaker that feed over here is actually if we connect it on the breaker and in the main panel um the main breaker panel don't have any control of this totally if there is a problem to occur or if it's on a bus bar maybe depending but what we don't want is we don't want two wave um to carry back current back to the transformer we actually want one way so that's why we actually do it this way um, separated in the in the sub panel we already have it linked in the main panel already um, that is one of the things I have specified in the video before because one of the main things that I was getting in I'm gonna do a video on one of the main things that I was trying to get in on in that video hope you guys understand why we separate the the, 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 the neutral um, from the ground in the sub panel because actually we don't want um, current to travel back to the main source or the transformer and both we want to travel on one um, if anything should occur in that case and also with this the, the ground right here we want the potential difference to be all this is zero when I mean zero I mean zero point zero 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 um, so yeah if we should link it right here the area is going to be amperage on the, the ground side and we don't want that we want the potential difference to all be zero right here so these right here um, we actually run out of wires so we use black wires so we identify them these are for 220s so we're going to connect them on some 220 um, breakers so we're going to use a 100 amp right here to actually feed this building right here that's why we use a 35 millimeter single wires So guys, if you notice guys, right here I have my main breaker right here, it's a double 100 amp, I have a 20 amp double right here, also I have a double right, if you notice I put double across from the, I have both doubles across each other, and if I should have more doubles right here, I would have them across each other, instead of have the double over this side and all doubles on one side, I like to balance my thing because I don't want everything to be falling and not everything but more likely most of the load will fall on one leg so what we do we try to balance it as best as possible even though diversity factor may play a role but at the same time you never know so what you do you try to uh, trying to balance your load so you have the 16 right here you have a sp20 right here 
Now we have the double right here, double right here. If in case I would have another double, I would put it right here and put another double right here instead of having all doubles in one side. So in this way, you're more likely to balance your, 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 your um, the load right here. And it's better off for the main wires as well with less pressure on one leg. So guys, so guys, there you have it. Why we separate the neutral from the ground, why we don't bond it in a sub panel. I uh, hope you guys uh, learned something from this video and for the noise in the background and so forth it's just that I'm at a farm and there's a lot of animals making a lot of noise so excuse me for that but yeah um, finally I got to get the um, message across that I haven't made in the video where I make why do you bond the neutral with the ground as I said before sometimes you do videos I mean, for me personally, I don't write notes and doing videos. I just do it out of my head what I know. But we continue doing the work, and while we continue doing the work, we're always gonna spread the message. We're gonna bring them out. So, guys, have fun. Stay safe.